Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bonnie again. We had a little chat before where I showed you a little bit about some magic and um, I'm coming today with a couple of more tricks just for you to learn. I hope you've been practicing, I have, and uh, yeah, hopefully you're getting better at that. So let's see what we can do today. This is magic money. Now, you may not recognize this, but this is 10 euros, yeah? Now, any notes will work of any country, yeah? And whether it's 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever you got, five pounds, it will work. What I need is that, and I need just two clips, normal clips, yeah? What I'm going to do, I'm going to make them be a little bit mischievous, just be a little bit naughty, yeah? And what I'm doing is, I'm gonna get this really, Fold it like that, and I'm going to get one of these in here. Yeah, I'm going to get the other clip in there. All right. Now you can see it's all. Everything is really tightly done. What I need to do now is you can do it slowly. You can do it quickly. I'm going to pull this open. When I pull it open, both clips will jump, but we'll also get together. Yeah, let's see what happens. Boop. And let's see what happens. Now, you saw that I put them separately. They weren't together when I put them. And I'm going to do it again. Yeah, so you got this. You fold your notes. Yeah. You put the clips in the separate clips. They're not together. And I put them separately in both one on one end and the other one on the other end. And I'm not putting them together. What I'm doing is, when I open, once I open the note, they jump and they get together. Now, to be honest, there is no real magic to this. This is just physics. Yeah. So no matter what you do, no matter how good or how bad you are, it will actually work. All you need to do is make sure that when you fold the note, yeah, I'll show you like this so you can see how it's folded. You fold it in three bits, one at the top, the one at the bottom, like that, yeah? So it looks like a little bit like an like an S. An S, or could be a Z, whichever way, yeah? And what you need to do is, one of these goes, these two together, so the bottom one and the middle one, on that side, yeah? And the other one, the top one and the middle one, but not the bottom one, yeah? So the middle one and the top one, like that yeah so you can see this one is this one is holding the top one and the middle one this one is holding the bottom one and the middle one and once you open them no matter how quickly how slowly you do it actually jumps and see what happens yeah again keep practicing and as you practice you'll see that's getting easier and everybody will be wondering how you did it. Because you are a magi magician. Yeah? That's who you will be. Okay. Now, magicians always have cards. Yeah? Not always, but many of them do. And sort of card tricks are really something that everybody is good at. Everybody knows how to do them. So I'm going to do a quick one and I'm gonna show you afterwards what what you do how you do that trick now I got I just got the cards out of the packet and what I what you have to do is you ask I'm gonna do it myself because I can do it without any problems but you ask somebody well just pick up a card any card and I don't have to see it I'm gonna pick up this one yeah any of them I'm gonna show it to you but I'm not going to see which one it is I'm gonna leave it there all right then what you do is you say, okay, just put them wherever you want. Just put, put it somewhere in there. And therefore, you just put it, let's say, in there. Yeah? And again, I don't know where they are. No idea. Yeah? So what my job is now, as a magician, is to try and guess which one is the card. Now, I haven't got a clue which one it is, but I'm going to tell you which one. Yeah? And now I'm going to start looking at them. You look at them carefully 
and you go at them slowly and say, aha, I think it might be this one. Was it this one? I bet it was. Yeah, of course it was. And I tell you how it is done, right? Now, this one, the important thing is to remember not to shuffle the cards, because if you do, you will be in trouble. You won't get it. Yeah. So people may ask, well, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. Fine. But it's up to you. You decide. You are the magician. You decide how you do the trick. Yeah. So when I got the cards from the box, I'd already put them in certain order. And the order is that you put all the red cards first. Yeah, you see, it's all the red ones and then all the black ones. Yeah. Now, the reason you do that, you will, you will realize very quickly, it doesn't matter which order you put up and down, but don't mix them. Just put them one on top of the other. So when you're asking somebody to choose a card, all you do is you open up only a few from the top. Yeah, so somebody, they won't choose a card from down here, they'll choose a card from up here. And whichever card they choose, is going to be a black card, isn't it? It doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah, they're all black cards. So let's say we choose this one. Yeah, now you don't have to see it. You close all the cards again, and you say, I'm going to open it. But you make sure that you open out the bottom half. Yeah, don't open the top half, open the bottom half which are all red cards, and you can see what's, where this is going. And wherever you put this, doesn't matter where it is, it's going to be a black card in the middle of red cards. Yeah, so you put, you put it here, you put it there, doesn't matter where you put it, just make sure you don't open the top. Because if you open the top, you end up with a black card in the middle of black cards, and then you don't know which one it is. Open the bottom half, put it in there, and then when you close it, remember, do not shuffle the cards, yeah? So when you're looking at them, you can see that there's only one black card in the middle of all the red ones, which means that that was a card, yeah? It's easy, isn't it? Once you know how to do it, it's very easy, but you have to know. You have to practice as well, yeah? Remember to practice. Now I'm going to do another trick, and for this trick I can just mix all the cards, it doesn't have to be red, it doesn't have to be black and separate, it doesn't have to be any way. Now I wish I was one of those magicians who can do all the bits of doing these things of like that and well actually it kind of worked, but I'm not very good at that, I'm not a real magician like that so anyway you can see they're all now mixed and all I need is I need 21 cards. Yeah, so I'm going to count 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Yeah, make sure that 21 of them, not one more, not one less. And the trick is done with these 21 cards. Yeah, now I'm going to ask a magic hand to pick up a card because I can't pick it, because I don't want to see which one it is. Yeah, so. Will a magic hand pick up a card and show it to the camera? Oh, that's a magic hand there. So you can see, and I can shuffle them all again. Yeah, and I'm not gonna look. You can put them wherever you want. You can put them at the top, at the bottom, in the middle, whatever. Is that it? Okay, so. Now, I can actually shuffle the cards, yeah? I don't really mind. I'm still gonna guess which one it is, yeah? But we're gonna do it a bit different. This is gonna be a bit longer, so it just needs a bit more remembering. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cards face up in three different piles, yeah? And what you want, what I want is to ask the person who's picked up the cards, which pile that card is in. I don't want them to tell, tell me which card it is, but when I, when I put all the cards on the table, then they need to tell me which pile that card is in, yeah? 
So don't tell me yet. Don't tell me, even if you see the card, just remember where the card is, but don't tell me where the card is. Yeah. So we keep going like that. We keep going round. Yeah. It should be 21 cards. So now, which pile was the card in? So the middle one. Okay. So let's go back like this. Without shuffling them, I'm going to carry on doing them. Okay. Oops, sorry. Should be like this. Just do the same thing. Just keep an eye where the card is. But don't tell me yet. Go a bit faster. Yeah. Just keep an eye. So where is the card now? It's still in the middle. Okay. So let's do the same thing again. So it's basically the same thing. Keep doing the same thing. You just keep keep an eye where the card is. Yeah. Where is the card gone? So where is the card now? Still in the middle. Okay. Now. Let's do it all over again. Now. Now, this one is going to be the card. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. But I bet this is the one. Is it the one? Yes. Of course it is the one. It never fails. And I haven't seen it. I don't know which card it's going to be, but it always works. And I'll tell you how it works, right? What you do is you have to have exactly 21 cards, yeah? And you can choose any one of them, you can choose whichever it is. Let's choose this one, yeah? Let's put whatever it is. It doesn't matter how you do it. You're just mixing it, do whatever you want with it. You can give it to the other person, they can mix it. It doesn't really matter, yeah? What it matters is that you keep putting them in, th in three piles, always the same order, left to right, yeah, and keep an eye where it is, yeah. So if we divide these into these three piles and make sure you don't put them in the middle, just put them in the same order as they come out. And you say it's this one where it is. So what you need to do is make sure that this pile is in the middle. So we put one underneath and one above it. Don't shuffle them. Turn them around and do the same thing, yeah? So we do exactly the same thing again. Now, this time it's in the middle. But we won't say anything until the end. So we deal all the cards and it's in here. So we do exactly the same thing again. We put this in the middle, so one on top, one underneath. And we repeat it again, yeah? That's where it is. This time it's on your right, isn't it? And this one. So again, this goes in the middle. So we put one underneath, one on top. We've done two times. So we've got a third time now. We've done three times now, haven't we? So we've done three times. The fourth one is going to tell us what the card is. So you start counting now. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the eleventh card is going to be the card. And there it is. Again, all this is to do with the way you divide the cards, the number of cards, the way you put them in piles, how you put one pile on top of another. So it's all about physics and mathematics. So it kind of is difficult to explain the reason why it goes like that, but it always, always, always works. Just make sure you follow the rules and you'll be just fine. Now, these are the few tricks that I've come up with. Hopefully you'll be able to learn all of them, some of them. You may like some, you may not like some others, but hopefully it will keep you busy for a little while yeah, and keep practicing. We are spending lots of time at home. We are maybe getting a bit bored, not knowing what to do. So it's a good time to learn new things.
Today I've learned to do a bit of magic. I'm not a magician really, but I've learned to do some magic and you can do the same thing. Now, I'm going to show you a few images of my nephew who is a real magician and you can see how things are really done. Yeah, let's go and see him. Now that's what you call real magic, isn't it? I haven't got a clue how that's done, so I can't teach you how to do it. But hopefully, who knows, if you keep practicing, one day you'll get as good as my nephew. Keep practicing, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye for now.